Well, John, thanks a million for chatting to us. It's lovely to meet you. Uh, congratulations you. on Triple Nine. I saw it with a, a packed cinema um, last night, and they all absolutely loved it. So can you just tell us a little bit uh, about the synopsis? Uh, well, it's about a, a group of a criminal, uh, a group of criminals with uh, some rogue cops that are put under extreme pressure from a mob boss who um, to do an impossible job. Um, so, yeah, that they, they um, plan this triple nine as a diversion um, to to pull off the job. <laughs> of the gods, we changing out the frauds, I gave these lions heart like my name ended in Oz. I came out of the film and I now don't trust anybody and I'm in fear of my own life. So is that the kind of desired <laughs> reaction you're looking for after somebody sits through it? Well, I think uh, that world of corruption and, and uh, the criminal landscape today where the stakes have become much higher, uh, I think that's uh, that was the intention, yes. Um, and nothing is uh, appears to what you think it is, and it's every shade of grey. It's not fifty shades; it's uh, hundreds. Hundreds. It's much sexier then. <laughs> so the more shades, the sexier. <laughs> and did you look to other films in this genre for inspiration, maybe intentionally or subconsciously as well? Obviously, people will draw comparisons to things like Heat, and even more yes. recent films like The Town, which has an Affleck connection there as well. Um, Absolutely. Well, Heat, uh, definitely, and the particularly the earlier films of uh, in terms of uh, the French Connection was it was uh, really the grit. Like, and and when you watch that film now, it has so much of a, a, a gritty reality, and that's something I miss in the crime thriller genre. So that was a, a, a huge influence, and Sidney Lumet, the sort of moral dilemmas. That the characters have, um, and then um, Jean Pierre Melville, that kind of uh, complex uh, web of uh, double crosses and those kind of criminal existential characters. I noticed in the opening credits it says a film by John Hilgo as opposed to directed by. Is there a difference for you? Um, yeah, that that was kind of just. Um, Partly because this is my first film where I've uh, produced it um, as well as directed and was very involved in the writing. So it's something that was actually suggested by someone else. So I thought, all right. We'll go with that. <laughs> yeah, we'll go with that. It, that's what sh we should do. So There's obviously a super cast in this film, um, but do you have an old, uh, your own personal wish list of other actors that you would like to work with someday? I'm thinking specifically of Irish actors, uh, people like Michael Fassbender, Colin Farrell, Saoirse Ronan. Oh, well, yeah, no, I'm, I, I, those actors are amazing. Um, Daniel Day-Lewis, although he's actually, he's not Irish, but he lives in Ireland. I will claim him anyway, don't <laughs> yeah, worry about it. Yeah, claim him. Um, and uh, yeah, I mean, there's so many, uh, I actually have a huge list. Um, but I also, I'm torn because I've had such great experience with uh, the people that I've uh, managed to work with. And so I, um, I'm always looking to return as well and develop relationships. And, and, but Fazbender's amazing, um, you know, that's, uh, but there's many. Well, after all your violent films, I look forward to seeing Daniel Day-Lewis in like a fluffy romantic comedy then. That's what we'll see. Triple nine, officer down. Please respond, all units.